Greetings and welcome to Mega Aquarium. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I have been aching to play this game forever. Um, so this game came out uh, in September, I think, and I had been following the game for well over a year, and I'd been watching every dev vlog uh, that there was and really, really interested in this game. This is a game where you basically build an aquarium and have people walking around and there are real fishes and all kinds of cool stuff that you have to make work together. Um, but last year, I, I well, not last year, <laughs> it was a few months ago that it came out that I was in Norway, so I didn't get to record it. So now we're gonna do that. We have a brand new winter update for Mega Aquarium, which adds the new Chicago tank, some other stuff and um, and some really nice uh, features like the um, uh, the area feature where you can have your staff uh, patrol a specific area and assign them in a more, more efficient manner. So let's go ahead and start a brand new game. Now I've done the first two um, missions, which are basically tutorial missions. So we're going to go to Elmshorn, uh, be the architect of a private collector's dream aquarium. This sounds absolutely delightful to me. We're just gonna play on normal difficulty for now. Wow, that's kind of loud, hello. All right, um, a private collector wants to build a new public aquarium from scratch and they want you to be the architect. They've already installed a large tank to be the centerpiece of the aquarium. The rest is down to you. Get the aquarium ready to open. Remember to fulfill your animal's care requirements to maximize their point value. All right, we need to turn down some of these sounds. <laughs> oh my goodness. So in this uh, game, you are tasked with building an aquarium and you need to take care of your fish very, very well. So looks like we got a new decoration type in this particular aquarium here. And um, we want to basically put in the center place and make sure it has these different items. And it's good they're gonna give us 2,500 uh, money coins for this. Um, we wanna have sufficient water quality, sufficient heating, um, and then we are going to have additional tasks over here. Now these are very important because they basically describe every aquarium we're going to build. So let's go ahead and figure out what animals we wanna put in here. Uh, and each of these animals, these are fish, obviously they're fish. And a lot of these I've unlocked on the previous, um, uh, previous levels through research because you have to research the fish that you want. Um, we have to be careful because some of them have interesting modifiers that are um, interesting. Like this one is a wimp, cannot be housed with a bully. So we need to have five different animals in here that don't eat each other. <laughs> this one dislikes lights, cannot be housed in a tank with a light tank lights attached. This guy here dislikes food competitors, cannot be housed with other species that eat green pellets. This one will eat um, stony corals, clams, or gorgonians. And this one, yeah, same one for this, um, dislikes conspecifics, uh, which means you cannot have more than one of this type of fish in the aquarium. So it looks like we have quite a few actually that will go together. There's also the crustacean. We have a uh, blue knuckle hermit crab at the moment. They um, ooh, avoid placing with tank meats, which are a danger to crustaceans. Yes, some of the fish will eat crustaceans. Um, this is kind of interesting. Uh, scavenger does not contribute to bio load of tank automatically fed when any other animal in the tank is fed. Um, so they will actually, uh, and I think they, they do um, improve the tank quality a little bit, but there's also other modifiers like the quality of the water. 70% is really high. Um, so we'll see if we want to add those in there, but let's go ahead and start from the very beginning. Ideally, there's so many different icons on these fish, as you can see, like this one has a star. Prestige stars are used for different kinds of um, leveling up and getting access to different stuff in the game. Um, ecology are points that are um, kind of research points, as well as these little guys, the science points. Um, and basically whenever a guest comes in and views these fish, they will generate um, ecology points and prestige points and or science points depending on stuff and all the decorations also do that. So let's go ahead and build or build, build some fish. Yes. <laughs> anyway, um, we also have to be careful about the size. Like this fish is a size three and the tank, let's look at the tank here. Uh, the tank is size 72, so we can put a lot of stuff in here. Um, so we have right now filter power of 80 
and the temperature is uh, 80 over of 72. So we have enough for now, but we might need to extend this if the tank gets a little bit too big. Um, we also have a platform here because this is a very tall tank. This is like a twice height one. Um, and that will help our lovely employees get to feed the fish. So let's go ahead and get some, some fish in here. We can have, let's get some half and half chromies um, uh, or chromis perhaps. They want to be in a shoal uh, of at least four of them. So let's build, let's add four. One, two, three, and four. There we go. And that gives us 20 uh, ecology points on this tank. Um, let's get the one that is... You are a food competitor. Okay. You are, let's see. That's also, what do we got here? Size. Was it flame? Yeah. Flame angelfish. Let's get one of these guys. Doesn't like con specifics. Okay. And then we'll add zebra moray eel. 65% water quality is kind of high. Let's see if we can maybe put some with less water quality. Well, these are 65 as well, aren't they? Um, not yeah it is angelfish i thought for a moment it was anglerfish but it is not it is that okay i'm not going to worry about get i, I don't want to really get the food competitors at this point because we just want to get our fish in there so these are dislikes lights that's fine reef squirrel fish let's have you in here uh and let's click on this one again and just see ah they're a shoulder so we need four two three and four okay so that's three animals three different um species of animals in here Let's see, Royal Grandma. Um, I think they should be okay to add. One, two, three. Oh wait, we don't need three of them. <laughs> oh dear, I don't know why I, I don't know why I chose three. Um, but we still have plenty of room in the tank. We have 40 of 72 left here. So um, what else do we have? King Demoiselles? I don't think we have those. We can add them. It's gonna be fine. They're wimps. Okay, so we just gotta make sure not to add any bullies one. Let's add two, three, four, five of them and just see what we have here. Wow, 51 science points, 52 ecology points. This is a massive tank, but we are missing a few things. Our water quality is down to 59% um, 59 to 55. The temperature is still the same. That's good. We need two plants in here and four um, shelters. So let's go ahead and go to the... Uh, what should we call it? Thingamajingies, the decorations and stuffs. Let's see what we can build. We can build some uh, kelp, which gives us two plants and two prestige points. Um, but we want to get in. Ooh, here we have Pacific paint and tropical beach paint. Uh, there's all kinds of other stuff that we can add here. And again, when the guests view them, they get to see the. Um, they give us points. Uh, with the prestige here. So we got, what is this? Rock 2 and Cave 8. That sounds great. Let's just take this, okay? And then we'll go ahead and add some other things. I want to add some kelp because I, I haven't gotten to play with the kelp yet. So let's add one, two, maybe three, four. That'll be kind of nice here. Maybe there, okay? And then we can add some fun stuff down here. We have an anchor, which is like huge it's a huge anchor boom um what else and a shell one there and a conch there we go and this is looking pretty nice i think we have all that we need actually um so we did not add any lights here i think we're we're looking pretty good now these two things normally we're asked to build these guys but these have already been built for us and we need, looks like we're going to need some food for these guys. We need orange pellets and green pellets to feed the various fish in here. So go ahead, go ahead and add, going to go ahead mm -hmm, and add some of these things. So we need orange pellet dispensers uh, here. I need to take these walls down. Let's go and just look at like this. Yeah. Okay. For some of the reason, the walls are not, um, they're not going the way I want them to, but it's okay. It's fine. Is it here? Toggle guest list, paint, uh, plant totals, tank capacity, uh, view rate overlay. That sounds really ha uh, handy. Ah, there we go. There we go. Makes the walls littler. We need to green as well, I think. So we'll get this one there. 
Okay, and then we'll need also, we need tools in a broom closet. So let's go ahead and grab those as well. So tool stations are for these guys when they break down. Um, and then the broom closet is for when guests litter the world. Um, yeah, and we have to clean up after them. So that's that. Um, we need to go ahead and hire a person. Now, it's very important that you hire a person that has skills. Uh, notice, feeding, fixing, cleaning. If they don't have, like this person will only ever do fixing. Um, I'm not sure if there's a way to uh, educate them yet. I haven't gotten that far in the game, but maybe that's a possibility. But we definitely need to get someone with fixing. Uh, the first person, wow, this person, yep, the first person has all three skills. So what we're going to do is hire Flick. And let's see, anybody else feeding and fixing? Just feeding and fixing, wow. All right, we'll hire Nigel as well. And um, I'm gonna make their priorities kind of special. We want them to go for f um, feeding uh, first priority, and then they can do the other stuff. Because if they don't feed the fish, life is much worse. Okay, so here we are. Uh, by the way, there are other levels that start with absolutely nothing in them. This is just one of the scenarios that you can play in. Uh, okay, we need combined uh, lots of ecology points. Um, we need to build additional tanks for these guys. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm wondering if we should just put them kind of here and let these... Yeah, we might just do that. So we can actually build additional tanks here. We build a lagoon tank. Wow. Wall tank, corner tank, observer tank. This might be useful. Like this. Possibly. This one could be here or here, perhaps. I'm just kind of like trying to think of how I want this thing to stick out a bit. Um, maybe not this one. Let's do like the corner tank. That might actually be better like this way, extending it here. I think that might be ideal and then have another one like this, except I want to change it this way. Yeah, there we go, like that. Aha, there we go. And I basically want to extend these walls a little bit beyond here uh, so that people can get around here. Um, and what I'm gonna do is just change the wall configuration to do this kind of thing, go that way. And then add, we need to add a little bit of a walkway around here. We're going to be really, really cautious on this for now. Uh, like this, just small amounts because it costs quite a bit of money to expand your aquarium. But we do need to just make sure that people um, just can get to see stuff here. So what if we do, okay, that is working like that. I guess I could even move these up to like this way, thinking. Okay, just move them that way and then add a little bit of this thingy stuff over here. And we can add the walls. Actually, we don't even need to add walls. We need to just add a staff door. Uh, and that's all we really want here. Staff door here and there. And we're gonna just delete all of this, these walls back here like this. We might rearrange all these things as well. Okay. Come on, show me. Actually, let's put the walls up so that we can kind of see. Click them better. Okay, there we go. Excellent. So basically when somebody comes into our aquarium, what they're gonna see is, and we can actually do this, we can walk in and see, aha, cool. Look at all the fish, aren't they nice? And then we're gonna see, oh, look, there's another tank over here. And there's a very tight corridor over here. I hope we're not claustrophobic, <laughs> but it's going to be fine. Um, there we go. So uh, that is what we're gonna go with for now. Uh, we might increase this size if we can, but for the moment, this looks like it's a pretty good thing. So let's go ahead and put these, um, these food bins over here. This is nice. This is telling you you can't reach the, uh, the whatever it is. You gotta move it. Okay, it doesn't want to go there. That's fine. 
you go here instead. All right, great. So uh, let's figure out, we want to make um, some more ecology points and science points over here. So let's go ahead and put in, maybe we want a moray eel because there's really cool. So let's put those one here. Yay. Now moray eels are kind of funny because they do grow quite big. Um, these are a fish that grows. They start out as four and they grow up to nine. So you're going to make sure that you have enough um, space at the final growth amount. So let's put two guys in there. So at nine, it's going to be 18 fish points in here. So we got to just keep that in mind. Now let's go ahead and make sure that this aquarium is taken care of. Now notice that this aquarium has a much shorter height here. Uh, and that's um, the height that normally people uh, like our employees can service without needing this ramp. Like the seat, the the uh, the height here of this tank is really high, so these guys can reach over, shove the fish food in here, and they're all good. Um, but what we want to do for this tank, we definitely need a um, the filtration system um, and a heater. Now they do have a power combi, which is kind of nice. So this thing will combine the um, you know parts of each and then do their thing. So looks like we need to have, it has less reliability than buying one of each of these. Now the power combi is too wide and the regular ones are um, one square each instead. Uh, we can use a pump, which will allow us to hide the machinery behind the walls and stuff like that, which is nice for the guests because they don't want to see all these filters and stuff. Um, but I think we're just going to go with the power filter. I don't know. Do we need a... Let's look and see what we need. Basic filter. No, it only goes to 62. So we need something better than that. Okay. Let's just do that then. Just make sure that we get what we need here. Uh, power filter, or we could go with the power combi is probably enough, but we'll just go with the, these two. Now, the thing about the power combi is, um, or the combination is that it requires skill in fixing this thing. So, uh, it's time consuming for staff without some skill. And at the moment, our employees are a little bit lacking. So anyway um so let's go we need to have uh, red food for these guys they take red um stuff so let's go and get the food uh that's gonna be mussels dispenser right that's good let's put this let's put the space here uh and then they also need some shelter okay so let's go ahead and get they need four shelters so let's choose a rocky overhang for them Oh, they're quite happy about this. And then we got rocks points, two of zero. And that means we demand zero and it counts as two points. So let's go ahead and get maybe, this counts as three plants, uh, but it gives us one star of prestige. Let's get some just sea lettuce in here. Kind of nice there. Look it around, look around and see. Our moray eels seem to be okay in there. They seem to be kind of happy. So we get some small rocks as well because they give us some nice points when um, when guests view them. Uh, we can also do a barrel. I don't think we did a barrel in the other one, but it looks very sort of piratey, I guess, in there. <laughs> no. Okay, cool. Uh, all right, so they have this, which is nice. All right, we still need um, ecology points. Apparently, we these guys were all science and not, not enough ecology. So let's... Um, make this tank have fish that have higher ecology points. I want to add, first of all, the uh, filter and the heater, very important. Now, also tropical fish, keep note that they want the temperature higher. Um, and, but the game is really, really forgiving and, they sh and it shows you like what you need to do for each aquarium. You just have to pay attention not to mix the fish that are not, um, <laughs> not kosher with each other. Um, okay, so we're looking for ecology points. Chromies, demoiselles, fox face, rabbit fish. Okay, dislikes food competitors. Cannot be housed with other species. I think we're, we're going to get, if we have a couple of these guys in here. Yep, one, two, three maybe. Oh, they're very pretty. You can really zoom in on these guys too as well. I just kind of look at them. 
and uh, and check these out. Oh my god, I can't, I can't believe I'm playing this game. I absolutely have loved watching the development of this game. Um, and it's just such a joy to finally be seeing this on my own screen. And with the water effects, we'll see that in just a second when I unpause the game. Ooh, look what this is. Nice. Okay, so we have an issue where there are too many fish in here and we need a higher water quality. So what I think I'm going to do, I think I'm actually going to sell one of the fish instead of, um, uh, of actually increasing the water quality because of this issue here. This thing uh, is powering this guy. Um, so it, there's not enough room for another, well, tech, actually, actually, um, I could get two of these and that might actually work. All right, let's treat, let's see if it works. Okay. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Let's see if that will work. Add another fish. Get rid of these guys. Let's just sell them. Delete, delete. And then we'll add two power combination thingamajings. There we go. And that's fine. Yep, it works. So then let's go ahead and put in our stuff. It looks like the water is just fine for these guys. Um, they don't need anything. So let's go ahead and put a driftwood. Well, actually the rocky overhang is very, very points heavy over here. Ah, we'll just go for variety. Let's put this in the back here and um, see what else they would like in their tank. They're not very picky fish apparently. So um, we can add eel grass maybe put this here and maybe i don't know i feel like putting another like sea lettuce or something over here and then maybe one over there and then we can add some shells yeah let's add a shell or two a conch shell there okay and then we can add some rocks just for variety small rocks there we go okay good so we have actually gotten all of the, the, um, the things met here with very little money left. So I think we should click to open our aquarium and I'll show you how everything goes. There we go. All right, curious about corals. The collector wants to explore the world of corals with your help. Your next objective is to unlock the disco mushroom and add one to your aquarium. You should expand your aquarium to increase your ecology and science income. More tanks and more animals equals more income. Also keep an eye on your profits. Even with the collector's investment, you'll need to manage the aquarium profitably. All right, sounds good. Okay, so here are our um, employees and we are going to pick our next ecology project. All right, we need to unlock the disco mushroom and protein skimmer. But I really like to get all of them. Oh, the longhorn cowfish is so cute. Oh my god, it's cute. Um, it's it's a wimp, cannot be housed with a bully, armored, um, and it may eat or damage starfish. Yeah, that's pretty rough. Panther grouper looks really kind of neat. Um, and the volatins lionfish. Oh, lionfish are so beautiful. But let's go for the disco mushroom first, and that'll be fine. Ah, here's the protein skimmer. Okay. And this will do stuff for us. Let's see. Helps achieve a higher quality of water. And then we have high reliability here and skill required to fix it. So we get, we'll get that. And the first thing everybody does is um, they go and grab food. And they're going to put it into the various aquariums here. So that the fish don't die. That's kind of important. Um, so it looks like we have, yep, that one's orange. It's interesting that this orange looks very brown here, medium orange here, and then this is quite bright orange. I kind of wish those were a little bit more consistent. I prefer kind of like this middle color of orange, I think. But um, anyway, that's... Um, anyway, I will make suggestions in case <laughs> the developer is watching. And if you are watching, Tim, hi. Thank you very much for the key. This is amazing. I love this game so far. I'm, I'm, I love all the fish and all the detail and all the... All the people yelling stars at me <laughs> it's good <laughs> yes and that's another thing i did receive a free key from the developer and uh, i'm very happy to play it for you guys because this is so good oh here's the eels oh my god they're hiding behind the rocks that's so nice but they do swim around as you can see and i love the uh the low poly effect here of the um the top of the tanks i think that's quite cool 
Uh, that's kind of a neat, neat thing there. So anyway, all of our guests are coming in and they're generating stars for us. Here we have our next rank. Um, I have no idea what the next rank is, uh, but we can also look at the guest thoughts here and see what they're saying, what they're thinking. Um, and here we have our stars. Yeah, and here we have the science points and ecology points that are working toward our next research things. So we did get a little bit extra money there, which is very nice. Now, are there other fish that we want to... Well, one thing that we should do is so our guests don't get tired, we should build them a couple... Uh, oh, there are floor arrows. Oh, that's new. Right, we need to build benches, fizzy drink machines, which will get us a little bit of profit. Um and um some other stuff now the interesting thing about benches and i haven't figured out what this is yet you see they have a radius a radius of benchness and i'm trying to figure out if that radius is can they see stuff from the bench or is it more like um somebody said oh my god i'm so tired <gasps> but there's a bench in sight i'm saved you know so maybe they use it they're like okay yeah this is this is the radius i will walk to get to that bench i haven't figured that out yet but i hope uh we will soon let's put a couple of fizzy drink machines here um and then we will get do 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 something we need a bin yeah we need we definitely need bins to throw out the trash uh you can also put the game on higher speed if you want to get a little bit more money wow look at all the stars leaping out of these people's heads they're like yo this is a cool fish place we love it it's fantastic oh yes um but we can slow it down because we don't really need to go that fast in fact i would really like to just we need to expand the aquarium uh, a little bit at a time so maybe like here and let's see go that way yeah okay that's great so anyway people can have like more space to walk around and view these places they can't go past the staff doors which is great for us because we don't want them cluttering uh the back uh area there with their bodies um so that our our people will be more efficient at walking around and such so all right so we need our disco mushroom protein skimmer sufficient lighting and water quality and sufficient heating that's one tank that has to have all that stuff um so it looks like oh 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 and we have a slight uh, emergency here oh my this person is working very slow do you have any wow you have one skill point basic fixing skill 10 minus two from precision minus one from memory oh dear final value of seven she is going so slow with this jeez just like slow motion okay but she's doing more fixing how nice <laughs> jeez uh i kind of wonder if they will upgrade this at all um this skill and i don't know what the scale is 10 might be like out of a hundred and this is just the 10 uh, divided by 10 so that maybe the scale is 1 through 10 where 1 equals 10 points and 10 equals 100 points just a guess anyway i would like to see oh yes i keep forgetting to look at these fitness precision empathy and memory yes they um determine oh at which experience is gained excellent um and so charisma talking more fixing and talking memory Empathy is, ah, natural talent for feeding and a lesser extent, the gift shop. So empathy has to do with how they feel about the fish. Precision is natural talent for fixing and uh, feeding. And fitness is uh, cleaning and the gift shop. Okay, and it also determines the move speed. So that's kind of important. Can we find another person who has other stuff? No, we need people to do stuff. Fixing two. Fixing three. I guess we can hire Fred. All right, Fred, coming in. You're going to do fixing all day long. I think I'm going to go and get manage the other staff so that they do cleaning first and fixing last. Yeah. So hopefully they'll manage themselves and do pretty well with that. Now then, we are getting a substantial amount of money here. What is the next thing, Jingy? Can we um, click this? Hello? I, I don't know what the next rank is. I wonder if we have to wait till the next uh, something. 
I, I could have sworn on one of the earlier levels it told you, like, you were at 127 of 150 or something, for example. Okay, so um, what I kind of want to do is maybe build a tank sort of around this area and have the walkway come around. That's my current thought. So let me just build, just build a wall here for now and just kind of get, get with the program here and build perhaps some tanks this way without having our guests trampling in and messing everything up. <gasps> More eels have grown to size nine. All right, cool. That, oh, but look at the tank thing imaging. No. All right, we're going to have to, oh wait, but that's the filter that's gone, gone wrong and she's fixing it. Okay, that should be fine. Um, but, it looks like we actually have no more time for this episode. Uh, so thank you so very much for joining me. I hope you will continue with me on the journey to make a fabulous aquarium. We're going to try to go through all of the scenarios that we can and have fun and discover all the fish. Uh, and all, by the way, all of these fish are based on real fish. So the um, they, they might have their stats um, slightly normalized i guess but they are actually having these kinds of traits in real life and it's the amount of research that has gone into this game is just astounding to me um and the artistry and such and i i've i've been so excited to see this game develop oh wow we're still short on this uh, let me just replace this thing real quick before we exit it because i want to fix this but yeah, it's, I've just, yeah, I've been kind of like, yay, game coming, so good. This gotta move, though. Gotta move this thing. Put that one there. This one, maybe there. Yeah, it's fine. Actually, we'll move the tool dispenser on the back side and move the food on the front side so that the workers can access it more easily. Anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.